Hey everyone, Jesse here again. We've got our brand new um, Hurricane. This is a all-in-one multi-process machine. So we've got MIG, TIG, AC, DC, TIG, stick, and plasma. So today we're gonna run through the MIG side, um, show you what this thing's all about. Pretty excited for this machine. We've been working on it for a long time and it is finally ready to, to hit the streets. Today we're gonna be going over the MIG side. We've got C25, C100, aluminum, stainless steel, and flux core no gas options. What these options are really for is when you go into power set mode, it's so the machine correctly calibrates itself for your material type. Today we're gonna be running some mild steel, some eighth inch plate. So what we've got, we've got our upslope and downslope, upslope and downslope options, pre-flow, post-flow, our inductance, burn back, We'll also have a start and ending wire feed speed. We have our spot and stitch timer, a 2T, 4T trigger option, and then our torch option, standard or running uh, spool gun. So of course we've got our standard 2T spot and stitches off. We've got a rough setting, which is pretty much what the power set gave us. So we're gonna go, go ahead and run a few beads, show you guys the performance of this machine, and then we'll run through some, uh, some other adjustments here in a minute. So that first weld was pretty basic. That's what you're going to run for, you know, most people run for anything they're doing with a MIG machine. But you could tell right off the start, and even when tacking, that I was getting a little popping. And so this machine actually has a feature on it called run-in, which we'll take a look at now. All right, so we're going to turn on our run-in feature, which is over here. So we turn on run-in. What that does is it activates our up and down slope and our start wire feed speed and ending wire feed speed. I'm going to go down to our up slope. We're gonna run 0.7 of a second upslope. And now we've got our wire feed speed start activated. So we're gonna do a 60 inches per minute wire feed speed on start. So what that's gonna give us, it's gonna give us a hotter start because we're keeping the same voltage, but for 0.7 of a second, we're running 60 inches per minute. And this is all adjustable. So you can go, I mean, you can go all the way up to whatever, you know, above what you're running. You can go all the way down. So we're gonna just run it at 60, show you guys you can get a hotter start. So this will prevent cold starts and like that popping stuttering right on the start by utilizing your run-in feature. So let's make another start. We'll run a little bit of a bead and we'll show you the improvement. All right, so as we start this weld, see right as we pull the trigger, it initiates the arc. We're not getting that stutter stutter. I could probably turn this run in the upslope up just a little bit, maybe 0.9, maybe even go up to one second to give me just a little more heat on the start. But we didn't get nearly as much spatter right there off the starter, like a little curly cue of wire sticking out. So this is where that run in really helps is preventing a cold start. So here's our, our same exact settings um, without the run in on. So you can see right here at the start, that's where it is a little bit cold on all these starts. They're a little bit cold, they're a little humped up, the bead's a little small. What's happened is that wire is hitting and it's hitting at the 280 inches per minute we were running. And it's kind of bouncing off until the arc gets started. And then it, once the arc starts, then it smooths out and you get a nice bead. But we get these cold starts when we're running our full wire feed speed at the start. So you can see this is with our run-in speed or our run-in on. And we had a 0.7 upslope from 60 inches per minute up to our 280 inches per minute. So we get a much smoother, much cleaner, um, starts tight in better. It's also a lot hotter. It's the same width as our bead instead of being small and then go into our bead. So running the, uh, the run in and adjusting your wire feed speed can really help you on, on not only your starts but doing restarts as well because you get a nice hot start. The next thing we have is inductance. And so what inductance does is it controls the length of time between your short circuits. So the lower the inductance, the wider the gap between your short circuits, and which will give you a more fluid puddle. As you go up in inductance, it shortens that gap between your short circuit cycles, and it makes the bead tighter, it makes it a little, a little more rigid. So that's one way you can kind of control and tailor your arc to what you're doing. Um, being out of position, sometimes having a tighter arc, a little more solid, faster freezing puddle is nice when you're doing overhead so you don't get stuff falling down on you. Same way with doing vertical. Really nice feature on this machine. Um, 
not a lot of multi-process machines have it, not even counting regular, you know, standard MIG machines. A lot of machines don't allow you to have an adjustable inductance. So really nice feature on this. We also have a lot of uh, on our other MIGs. If you want a full video on inductance, we have one on our YouTube channel already. We'll go ahead and drop that link into the, the description. That way you guys can check that full video out as well. So as I mentioned earlier, all your processes up here, especially for the MIG side, it calibrates the machine for the power set mode. So now that we're in, we're running C25. Let's say you're, you're not an expert welder. You don't really know where to start. So let's go ahead and turn on power set. So we're on C25, we're running solid wire. So what it allows us to do is to select our workpiece thickness and our wire size. So we've got eighth inch material. So we've got eighth inch material selected. We're on an 035 wire. So what the machine does is it takes those inputs based on what you have on your process and it spits out a pretty close number for you. And you still have a pretty wide range within those for both your wire speed and your voltage. But we're gonna leave it where it's at and show you how close it is. So 20 volts, 295 inches per minute, eighth inch material with 035 wire. All your other settings down here are gonna go into auto. This makes it very simple for guys that are starting out. Sometimes I'll even use the auto set if I'm on some kind of a weird thickness that I don't run very often. I'll throw it in auto set or power set, see where it, it kind of kicks me out at, and then I'll go back to manual and kind of fine tune it from there. A little bit of a cold start, that was probably more me. I kind of long arced it on the start. Going along though, we're getting a little bit of spatter, but it's, it's pretty soft. It's not real hard, big chunks of spatter. Probably could have gone down on wire speed just a little bit. And that's why we offer some fine tuning in the power set mode. Because if you're doing a little more of a push, a little more of a drag, or a little long arc, um, it will affect those settings a little bit. So that's why we offer you some fine tuning to really dial you in, even on the power set. But as you'll see in the final shot, it was a pretty solid weld. So there was a little bit of spatter, but nothing too crazy. Uh, ran pretty nice. I mean, like I said, I would have been, earlier I was about 15, 12 to 15 inches per minute lower on wire speed. I thought it ran a little bit better that way, but then again, it kind of depends on your position, you know, your gap. You know, if you're a little bit more of a gap, you could use some more wires. So overall, pretty darn close. All right, so that about wraps it up on the MIG side uh, for hardwire C25 on the Hurricane. Still a couple of options. You know, we got your flux core, stainless, and then it is also spool gun ready. Um, so we'll throw a spool gun on this thing in a different video, but uh, nice little preview for the, the Hurricane feature pack machine. I mean, it's a full feature MIG machine. It's full feature AC, DC, TIG, which we'll have a video coming out for as well. Um, we're going to start the live streams up. I'm going to be doing them on Wednesday at noon. It's coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm going to be using this machine a lot. I'll be using the new Typhoons. We've got a couple of new um, machines coming out as well. I'll be using those real soon. Um, but yeah, check us out. Uh, keep the, the hurricane at the top of your mind. We're going to be coming out with a lot of videos with it soon showing how powerful this all-in-one machine is.